check your posture. So have the feet shoulder width apart. Gently draw in your toes, sink the hips and lengthen through the crown of the head. Relax your shoulders, relax around your hips, relax the knees and the ankles, the elbows and the wrists. And just feel your head float up and you're, you're lengthening upwards through the crown of the head. And you're just very gently breathing in and very gently breathing out. So just notice the air as it goes in, notice the air as it comes out, relax your shoulders, create some space under each of your arms. Just gently draw the toes in and relax around the knees. And sink the hips. And just take this time to really stand. So as you're gently breathing in and out, you're noticing the sounds that you can hear behind and above, and you're softly gazing forwards as you listen. So breathing, very good. And while you're breathing in and out and while you're paying attention to the contact with the ground, just allow your muscles to soften slightly. So there's a slightly soft feeling in the muscles and then this upward feeling in your supporting bones. Relax the, the arms and the legs. Sink your hips, lengthen through the spine and you're just breathing in and out. attention to the breath. So, you know, it's Monday and what I highly recommend is just easing yourselves kindly into the rest of the week, you know, I think. So we'll just, with that in mind, we'll just start with our loosening. So show you that from the side view. So I'm I'm lengthening, I've got my good posture. I'm drawing in my toes and oh those of you waiting for the videos, I have edited the videos. I've just got to put them up on the YouTube channel. Um so I think I'm pretty much almost up to date. I've just got to put Thursdays and Fridays in, I think. So we're just going to breathe. Now with your knees, you want to soften the knees. Now we've now we've relaxed the muscles a bit and we've lengthened 
focus a bit on your knees and just creating some space in your knees. And while you're moving, actually I'll show you from the other, uh, other side view, while you're moving, sink your hips and shoulders and just create some space in your body Breathing some more. Okay, right, everybody relax your shoulders a bit more and okay, just just uh, halt a sec. So just take a little pause. Um yeah, sleepy tiger eyes. Sleepy tiger eyes. So what the uh, idea behind the the gaze in uh, in these arts is hang on a minute is um, your the the gaze is relaxed but alert. So you've got this presence. I mean, it's very gentle, but there's it's definitely present when you're doing your looking. So when you're when you're doing this exercise and you're turning between your corners so you're you're looking towards the corner you're scanning along the the room and you're looking towards the other corner you're practicing your soft focused gaze so you've got the gaze going on and then the other thing is is you really want to relax in these arms and also free up around the waist, so around this area here. That's all lovely and free. Uh, the other thing you want to think about is maybe someone, um, you've got your shoulders, imagine someone's holding either side of your shoulder and gently pulling out to the side, and then you've got someone on the other side gently pulling on your shoulder just to kind of stretch it out a bit and, and create a little bit of space in this, uh, in this area. So let, let's just imagine we're expanding a little. So let's just make ourselves a bit larger. So we're lengthening up and down, but we're also gently thinking widening. So create some space in the shoulder, the elbow, the wrists, the hips, the knees and the ankles. Gently draw the toes in, feel the ground under the feet and then we'll, we'll go back to this one with a little bit more space. That's better. So just let the arms move, allow your arms to be moved. Relax around the shoulders, relax the, around the jaw. So you want to let your jaw go, you want to let the muscles go around the, the neck and all the way down the back. Okay, and now what we're going to do is we'll raise the arm up. So you've got open feeling in the chest. So you're, you're turning 
as the, the arms are, that's it. So don't forget to turn your body. Turn your body, everybody. That's it. And we've got lots of space, lots of space. We're feeling comfortable, fabulous. Just let the arms relax, have a little wiggle. Okay, we'll just go through the loosening exercises at a nice, uh, easy pace. And then uh, when I was out this morning, it wasn't as freezing as it has been, but it, it is quite damp. So, Again, not as damp as when we had all that fog, but you want to you wanna be considerate towards your joints in this sort of climate. So let's just gently draw the toes in. Your feet are parallel. Now, if your feet aren't naturally straight on parallel, you can be out a bit with the feet, and that's just as good. That's, there we are. So we're just tune into the natural springs in your body. We're going like this. We just tune into the springs and then we're just this one. So you want to really relax the hands. And just allow your arms to drop. They're just, they drop down and then fold up and then drop down and open drop and fold drop and open and you're noticing the connections in your body and again making a bit of room in yourselves yep yeah. so just be mindful of of really relaxing your shoulders and also being unhurried so as much time as you like it's great Should, uh, maybe call it don't hurry Mondays or something for this class okay now we're gonna turn the palms up and open so we've got this lovely spacious feeling in the palms of the hands and you can feel this right to the ends of the fingers so that's it and yeah that's it yeah so you drop and come up and we're breathing Keep breathing and change. So we're, we're transferring the weight. I'll, I will spend um, probably in the new year or something, we'll, we will have a loosening exercises showcase and because they really are fab. I first learnt the loosening exercises about 17, 16, 17 years ago and I, the, the, the person that was really into them was Master Chung and he's this amazing, very graceful, connected, really nice guy, um, Tai Chi master and uh, And then I go and try and find other people that, that focus on the loosening. I've got a few, a couple of friends up in the Lake District, David and Jean Haynes, and they're really good at loosening exercises. And they're worth getting into just because they contain the component movement requirements for this art. 
and it's it's just nice to feel like you've got lots of space you can move around quite easily and you're feeling really connected it's a good feeling so so relax your relax your shoulders Okay, relax and just check your posture. So it is good to just return to your Wu Chi posture. So Wu Chi is like your empty circle, the, the sinking down, we're feeling the ground under the feet, you want to draw the toes in, you want to lengthen and feel nice and relaxed and then yeah well remember Charlie we're doing this one now good job yeah. so we're just letting the we're just letting the arms there we go yep yeah. so so make more space in your hands and just really let those shoulders relax just taking it easy nice and soft breathing oh fab and just relax the wrists and let go in your lower back so around here you want to let go around here I'll show you from the side and I'm, I'm still doing my sleepy tiger eyes relaxed yet alert and change So we just feel that waist turning. You're turning the waist and then just allowing the arms to swing backwards. And then you've also got the, oh sorry, my feet have disappeared. You've also got the, I'll show you from the diagonal. You've also got the contact with the feet. One arm at a time, one arm at a time, that's it. That's it. So you really want to let go in this shoulder, really let go in the shoulders. Okay, and then wobbling. So I'll just explain that. I'm going to actually, I will move this down a bit because my feet keep disappearing. I'll have to move it up for some of the other bits, but we'll. We'll just have to, yeah, I'm, I'm hoping at some point to be able to hire a, a room that's bigger in a, in a, in a, a hall somewhere. It, okay, so what you do is you imagine you're, you've got a sheet of paper either side of you and you've just dipped each of your hands in a big pot of nice, coloured paint of whatever colour you like, sink the hips, lengthen through the spine and then we'll just, uh, so you, you try one arm and you're just making an inward circle, if I do it in slow motion I'm going like this, so I'm turning my waist and I'm really letting go in this shoulder joint, so it's completely loose and passive and I'm just allowing the arm to make a circle. So it's going round and round. And we're breathing. I 
and then round and round the other the other way and then both hands that's it so you want to you want to stay relatively upright and as still as you can or just move just enough to be able to do the movement really okay have a little shake out but we'll we'll just wake the feet up a bit so i'll show you this from the um i'll show you from the diagonal when we do the movement but just so you can see it, how to set it up from the front i turn my back foot out towards the corner so it's in between the corner and the side of the um the wall on the side depending on how my leg got put on so and then you keep the shoulder width gap between the feet then you go heel toe and then bend both legs and I'll show you that facing that way so one two three and then what we're gonna do is we're just gonna gently sink into the back foot sink into the front foot and we're maintaining this lengthened feeling through the spine so the head is floating up the sitting bones and tailbone are sinking down the shoulders are sinking down chest is sinking and the spine is it's almost like your your legs and your spine the supporting bones are are lifting Gently draw the toes in so that you're activating the arches of the foot and you're just feeling this strength in your legs. So you want to move slowly forwards and slowly back. And breathing. I'm relaxing around the jaw very good very nice so you don't want to over bend this front knee or the back knee you're just I'm sort of stopping when I get halfway when I get to like the middle of the foot or thereabouts okay now sink back turn your torso your shoulders and your hips towards the corner then you sink forward and then you turn towards the front sink back turn towards the corner so it can help if you put your hands on your chest and your tummy it shows you where you've turned to And we're breathing, breathing nice and relaxed. Taking our time. Okay, and then have a little shake out and we're gonna we're gonna do the same on the other side. I'll just show from the diagonal actually, it might be a bit easier to see. So just take my time so we're gonna do the first eight moves from the shibashi set um, I was I was looking at the video again only briefly this weekend unfortunately I've been at, um, uh, I was supposed to be in Glasgow <laughs> this weekend um, doing some Tai Chi workshops um uh international music festival uh but oh well <laughs> so i i ended up uh, playing playing a lot instead online and uh it's as a as a consequence i've not not watched as much professor lee uh lin hao sheng as uh, much as i'd like to but had a great time and uh yeah so we're gonna sink forwards 
and sink back. Relax around the hips. There we go. And now we're going to go back and turn, forward and turn. Now lengthen, lengthen, really, really feel that you're the whole body, the whole body is engaged when you're, when you're moving, everything is connected, it's all engaged, it's all being used. Okay, now we're going to do two turns, one, two at the back, two at the front, I'll show you that from the side, so we do two turns in the back leg, two turns through the front leg. So there's a, a transfer of the weight and a turning. This is quite useful. It's a useful exercise both for your balance, for your coordination, and for strengthening your legs. And also it's a good one for the back um, in cold weather. If you, you've got a bit of a stiff back, you just do this for a bit, maybe five minutes each leg, and then and that will just gently free your back up and just keep the arms moving. That's it, yeah, good job, good job. And we're breathing. So. Keep breathing some more, fabulous. Nice and relaxed. Okay, and then forwards and back. So it's like the, the first of the loosening exercises. I mean the second of the loosening exercises. and tall we're going to do that on the other side so two turns per per leg two one two so just feel that you're really moving alignment notice the contact through the ground and the feet and then we're going to change to this one so just swing swing back and swing forward I do I do like this one it's quite um, person I, I practice this with uh, Linda Broder Linda Broder was a, a very good Tai Chi practitioner um, and she also used to be a um, uh, poet. She was a poet and did taught creative writing in Manchester as well as Tai Chi. Very good. But she, this was one of her favourites. So keep breathing. Okay, shake out. Sink down. Relax the shoulders. Lengthen through the spine. And we'll just put the hands on the chest. We're going to do the, the shoulders. One, two, three, four, five, six. Show from the side. Seven, eight. Other way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. One, dragon serves teacups. Two, three, four, five, 
just so you can see it from the back. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Other way, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 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 Shake out. Hands on the hips. One, two, three, we'll do five. Four, five. Five in the other direction. One, two, three, four, five. Knees. So you just allow your hands to very gently rest on these. We do a circle. One, two, three, four, five. And then the circle the other way. One, two, three, four four five and then oh I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to move this we'll do a little bit of a, a stretchy thing um, so point your hand up point your hand down just stretch over and make a fist point your hand up make a fist point your hand down stretch over you can go that way actually <laughs> one up one down, make a fist, turn it over. And last one. Okay, right, let's have a look. We're going to go through the first eight movements. So just get yourselves nice and relaxed. And we just go, I'll show you from the, actually I'll show you from this diagonal. So we're doing this. So we go up, down. And be quite expressive in your fingertips. I'll come a bit closer. Have a, have a look at my hands. So I go up like that, and then as I go down, I'm extending. Look, look at look at my hands. See, they're doing that, and there's this soft, slow feeling. There we go. So you've got this nice, spacious feeling in the hands. Or opening movement.
Okay, we'll do one more. Okay, then open the chest. So you get up. You open the chest. You come back. And then down. I'll show you that from this side. And the, the diagonal view. You get up. Open the chest, come back, down. Relax around your elbows, up, open, back, down, up, open, back, just raises the hands up and goes straight into dance the rainbow I'll go back a bit which I really like so this is from Professor Lin Hao Sheng so nice and tall nice and tall it kind of reminds me a bit of like a willow tree swaying in the breeze if that helps, they, they make these lovely, I, I, I um, was on my bike the other day and, and there was a willow tree. One more time each side. And then bring the arms down. And then you slightly bend and slightly fold and come up. I'll show you from the side. So you don't you don't have to go down too much. I'm just like little way actually that that's just as good. Separating the clouds. So you cross, open the arms, bring them down. more time okay so the way the professor does the um, rolling arms um, we've just done this and then he comes like this and then this lifts up quite high and then comes down and I absolutely love it it's just very elegant and graceful the way he does it and it just
more time. And then bring the hands over. Throwing the boat to the middle of the lake. Show you that more from here. So there's an open feeling in the shoulders and then you're folding in the middle here, but you're lengthening through the spine. So I'll show a few this side and then I'll show a few on the other. So I'm coming up and down. And I'm looking forward with my eyes. I'm still looking forward rather than down on the ground. So you want to look forward. It's a good one for the lower back, good one for this, this time of year, a bit damp, a bit cold. It's nice for the back. So this is the sixth movement, rowing the boat in the middle of the lake. Okay, move seven and eight. So you, you sink down and come up. very nice show you from the from the back so I'm lifting my heel off of the floor You can you can actually exaggerate the, the the leg movements and really go down and up if you want. side. Up. Both hands together and now you're going like this. It's called Gazing at the Moon, Professor Lin Hao Sheng's version. Or well, my understanding of his version. <laughs> let's, be, let's be accurate. So I like, there's loads of different versions of this and I actually like all of them. So we will be looking at the other versions as well, but, but this is the official version. Looking at the moon or gazing at the moon. So imagine a beautiful moon that you're just gazing at. One more time each side. Great, and then we'll do three, three of these. So this is the last movement. Again, Professor. Lin Hao Sheng's version. So it goes like this. Actually try that. So now we've got the first bit, come up, now turn down, and then do this little swingy thing with the hands. It goes up, down. Now normally we do three, but we're gonna do lots today just to practice the movement.
and then one more. Just let the arms hang by the sides. And have a little shake out. Okay, oh, we better have a quick water break and then we're going to have a look at the feet and do a little bit of the, um, some of the basic walking patterns. Um, yeah, there's, there's this really nice um, kind of little flourishes that, that the professor does. He's um, a full-time academic. Um, he's a researcher on Chinese medicine and how all this stuff um, works medically. And there's been quite a lot of medical papers on on these exercises and how they work and stuff. I don't really understand. I tried reading one over the weekend. It was really complicated, but it, you know, it's good for you. Um, but um, I'd started watching his talk on it and how it how it works scientifically. So uh, anyway, the. Right, I'll move this back down again so you can see my feet a bit better. Here we go. So, we're going to do the two-part walking pattern. So, just have a look first. So, pay attention and observe. So, I transfer my weight. I go into the cat stance and then I go heel toe, transfer the weight, heel toe transfer the weight so we just try that for a bit and then when you get to the end pause so when you get to the end you pause check your posture and then very deliberately and considerately turn round and then before you move lengthen and connect to the ground or connect to the ground and then lengthen yeah so you connect to the ground you lengthen transfer the weight and start again heel toe transfer the weight cat stance heel toe transfer the weight cat stance
Maybe some arm movement. It doesn't really matter the order. You just you're just lifting, allowing the arms to lift to raise, and then they lower again. But let's try. I'll try and keep a bit more consistent. So I transfer my weight. I raise my hands up, and then I go into cat stance, and then I allow my hands to lower. One, two, three. And then just pause for a moment. Feel the lengthening in the body. Relax the shoulders. Sink the hips. We'll try a few again. Heel toe. One, two, three, four. So the arms just float. Step transfer, they float up, step, float down, step, transfer, float up, Okay, now this time we're going to do this movement as a as a walking exercise. So heel toe, you come up, get a bit further away from the up open and then together a down just like that and down show you from the front up open together or closer together they're not touching but they're bring, brought back together and then down and as the arms float down your hip sink Do one more. Yeah, we're 
We've got another one. Let's try it out. <laughs> So you can do each movement as a walking exercise. So if we go, go back to the uh, original version, just to, so it's quite, it kind of starts like this and then it's all very, very willow tree like. And we'll just see how we're getting on. Yeah, it's good, isn't it? So. Nice and tall. It's very positive. Very positive. Okay. And relax. A little shake out. Uh, oh, we're running out. Oh, what? I was hoping to do part of the wild horse's mane. Um, we'll do it as a qigong exercise. So get into your horse stance. Not too big. And we're doing this. One, two, three, four. So part the wild horse's mane. One more time each side. So if I hopefully I'll remember next Monday and we'll, we'll do it as a walking exercise. It's a lovely walking exercise. Okay, we're coming perilously close to lunchtime. So let's go back to this one. So we'll we'll speak very slowly until the last one of term be working our way through a few more of the movements for, for the professor professor ling hao shen's version of the the 18 set okay nice and tall and then just breathe in Breathe out. Embrace the tiger, return to the mountain. So tuning into that very quiet, calm, resilient place of strength. and relaxed in the body and we'll see if it works this afternoon rub your hands together and polishing the face
rub the hands together again and give your lower back a rub. And then just stand for a moment. Lengthen up through the spine. Take a few slow, deep breaths. And then make a fist with the right hand, left hand over the top. Bring your feet together and bow. Oh, good session everybody.